we actually saw your video of um, you telling somebody about the whole young earth, old earth yeah. theory. Uh -huh. um, do you believe that the dinosaurs to be millions of years old based on carbon dating mm -hmm. like scientists do? Mm -hmm. Like age of the earth question, look, I'm absolutely certain the universe is at least 57 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna throw my dad in there. It's at least 83, okay? <laughs> Christians argue over this. And I could spend a lot of time going through it, but let me give you the very short answer. No matter what perspective you take on the age of the earth, you're making assumptions that you can't prove. Whether you think it's old or young, you're making assumptions you can't prove. Let me give you an example. Some people will say, well, the light from the stars shows that the universe is 13.8 billion years old. That assumes the speed of light hasn't changed, right? If the speed of light has changed, we don't know how old the universe is. Is it a good assumption the speed of light hasn't changed? Probably. Why? Because if you change the speed of light, you've got to change all the other laws of physics with it, right? So it's probably the fact that the Earth is very old, okay? Carbon dating also has assumptions you can't prove. The, the, the uh, beginning amount of carbon-14 in something, the decay rate, all that has changed. Same thing with salt in the ocean. These are all assumptions you can't prove. Are they good assumptions? They might be. Right? How about saying that the, that the Bible teaches a young universe? It might. However, if you want to take a hyper-literal view of Genesis 1, what does the first verse say? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Okay, when did God create the heavens and the earth? In the beginning. Does it say when the beginning was? No. You say, well, the days. What about the days? The days don't begin till verse 3. Right? But Genesis 1.1 says the heavens and the earth are already created. You say, well, maybe that's a summary statement. It could be, but what are you doing? You're making an assumption you can't prove. It seems to me, and this is the case with John Lennox, the great uh, Christian philosopher and mathematician from Oxford University who wrote the book Seven Days That Divide the World. He thinks Genesis 1.1 lives the, uh, leaves the question of the age of the earth indeterminate because... If the heavens and the earth are created before the first day begins, who knows how old the universe is? Either way, you've got assumptions you can't prove. That God created is more certain than when. One other thing I've got to say about this, because I know a lot of people are thinking, what about death before the fall, right? And we think that, Je that uh, Romans 5.12 says that death came to creation because of Adam's sin. That's not what it says. It says, says death came to all men through Adam's sin. It doesn't say that death came to all creation. There could have been death before Adam and Eve to creation. Remember, there was a fall before the fall. What was the fall before the fall? Satan. Satan, right? That could have affected the earth. We don't know. And by the way, why would you need to build a Garden of Eden if the whole world was a paradise? These are just things you got to think about, right? That God created is more certain than when. So... It's an important question, an interesting question, but it's not a question for orthodoxy. It's not, you know, you've got to believe young or old. You could believe either way. I guarantee you this. When you get to heaven, God isn't going to say, did you think it was old or young? <laughs> Do not make this a test for orthodoxy. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you.